guys welcome to another tutorial from rcbacademy.com in this tutorial I'll talk about workflows in Jira so to get started I have already logged in into my Jira instance um, and you need to have administrative access to do anything with the workflows so make sure you log in as an administrator and then go to the administrator cogwheel in the right hand top corner and click on issues now under the issues you just go to the workflows section and click on workflows to see all the active and inactive workflows so there are two sections in the workflow screen here and all the active workflows for the projects will be displayed under under the active section and all the inactive workflows will be displayed under the inactive section now what exactly uh, before I get into the detail of adding or how you can add and edit the workflow uh, we'll just uh, have a brief introduction of what exactly is a workflow in Jira so workflow is nothing but it's actually a replica of the actual process that is followed in your organization or within your project to complete a set of um, tasks within the project so for example in software development uh, project you're working in software development project you have a certain process wherein the issue type moves from one state to another so in order to do that within the tool or to make that collaboration within the team seamless what you need to do is you need to associate or you need to create a workflow which can replicate that particular process so that the team that is working on the software development project can follow that workflow and move the issues from one state to another until the completion of those issues so that's a brief about what exactly is a workflow it's nothing it's just a it's it's basically um, just kind of a replica of the actual business process or the software development process within your project now to add a workflow there are multiple ways you can either copy an existing workflow and edit it later to meet the needs of your project so for example you have the active workflows you can just click on the copy of the workflow that suits your project needs and then uh, once you copy so if I click on copy it will what it will do is it will create a copy of the software simplified workflow uh, along with the description so if you want to change the description uh, I'll just say copy and then click on copy so it will create a copy of that particular workflow um, and you will be redirected to the workflows page wherein you can update the workflow uh, actual workflow here so for example you want to add more statuses you just click on add status and that particular status will be added in the workflow now once you add the status you need to add the transition uh, for that particular status so you can add the transition as well I'll cover all these uh, the actual designing of the workflow in the later tutorials but for for this tutorial I'm just covering the basics of the workflow so I'll just uh, move on and I'll go back to the workflow and show you how you can uh, create a new workflow so I've shown you how you can copy and then edit a workflow to add a brand new uh, workflow you just click on add workflow provide the name and description so I'll say test demo workflow uh, description is optional so you can leave it blank and then it will come to the same screen wherein you have to design your workflow from scratch so you need to add status add transitions uh, design the workflow um, from scratch so once you are done with the workflow go back and you'll see those the new workflow that you have added uh, will be available in the inactive workflow section so to edit a workflow just click on edit to copy it just click on copy link or to delete just click on 
delete link in the inactive workflow now here you can see you know um, the delete option is available for some of the workflows and it's not available for some of those so the reason for that is if you go at the top uh, you'll see the uh, message information message that to delete a workflow you must first unassign it from all the workflow schemes and draft workflow schemes so all the workflows which uh, for which the scheme is associated you won't be able to delete until you unassociate those workflows from the scheme now these new workflows i haven't created any scheme so what what exactly is a workflow scheme it's basically um, you, you can associate the issues to multiple uh, to multiple workflows or you can say if you have a defect a defect can follow a different workflow and other all other issue types can follow a different workflow so what you can do is you can create a scheme and then associate a defect to a particular workflow that a defect life cycle uh, needs to follow and then all other issue types like story task and subtask can follow another workflow and all these workflows will lie under the scheme uh, workflow scheme and then that scheme can be associated with the project with one project or with the multiple project so that's uh, basically about uh, brief about the workflow schemes so if a workflow is associated with a scheme you need to first unassign the workflow from the screen and then you can delete it so that is pretty much all about basics of workflows in jira and uh, a brief about workflow schemes if you have liked the video please do subscribe and share thank you